Sam Broadcaster Cloud makes it really easy to manage multiple stations. After you sign in to Sam Broadcaster Cloud, you will be presented with all the stations that's available under your account, either as owner or as a, as a DJ. So here you can see on my account I have three different stations. The top two stations shares one media library and the station has its own dedicated library. This list of stations is also a great place to have a quick overview of all of your stations. So as you can see here, you can instantly see that the station is on air and this one is off air. So you can immediately see which stations are online or offline and you can even click the play button. So that's a quick way to preview the station. The other thing you will notice here is it shows you the mode that your station is, is, is in. This station is in live streaming with cloud backup. Now you'll notice that the cloud icon with a little thunderbolt means uh, is green. This means this is the current on-air source. You can see the station is completely offline. None of the sources are on air. And with this one, it's in a different mode where live streaming and cloud is mixed. Um, so cloud is not the backup here, but since there's no live source connected, the cloud is the current on-air source. The other thing you'll see is if you're the owner or the DJ on the station, um, on this view, I'm the owner of all three stations. You can also quickly filter and say, I only want to see stations I own, or only stations I'm a DJ on, which is none for me. Or I can do a quick search. Especially this is useful if you have a hundred or maybe a thousand stations. If you quickly need to locate the station, do a quick search and you can locate the exact station that you're looking for. Another useful tip is that you can quickly manage multiple stations at the same time. So for example, if I wanted to manage these two stations, I would just hold down the control key on my keyboard and click on the station. This will open each station in its own tab and allow me to manage both stations at the same time and quickly jump in between them. So this group makes managing multiple stations quite easy. It's maybe worth noting that if you don't see the select station screen, that is because you only have a single station. And if you have a single station, there's no point in selecting which station to manage. So that's why you wouldn't see the screen. So the screen is only shown to stations that have multiple stations. But if you do want to get there, you can actually go to the switch stations view from the gear menu and you'll get there even if you have only a single station. If you wish to create additional stations, the biggest decision to make is if the station will share the library of an existing station or will you create a new library for the new station. And I'll quickly show you the difference in the user zone after you logged in. If I go to the services tab, you will notice that I have two services under my account. And you will see the first service have one station and the second service has three stations on it. Let's just take a quick look at the service with three stations on it. If I say manage service, you can see I'm at the gold package with the la which allows me three stations. And if I wanted to go ahead and add an extra station on it, you will see that for my first service, I have one station on it and zero is unused. And on my second service, you can see two stations in use. And unfortunately, because this video, the width of the screen is a little bit small, this part gets hidden, but I have w one unused station here. So it allows me to add an extra station. So here you can also see how you know which stations are using which library. So you can see Spatial FM is 
using its own library and Sam Cloud Hits and Sam Cloud Power One is sharing the same music library and we'll go into a lot more detail about that in a moment but let's say I want to add a new station here I simply give the station a name and let's say I want to create a country station I would just go ahead and add the station and the station was created successfully now if I go back here and refresh the view you'll see that my new SamCloud country station is available here when you're starting to work with multiple stations a big de important decision you need to, need to make is if a station will share a library of other stations or have its own library or if you have say a hundred stations how to split them up so some of them share a library and others don't and there's some good um, strategies to follow or some good advice that I can give you is that if a station is fundamentally of the same genre you probably want to share the music library let's say you have you're focusing on the country genre and you have a country hits a country all these a country gospel station those all fall within the same genre so it's very likely that they will share a lot of content between them and thus it makes sense to put them on the same library however if you have a hard rock station and a country station you typically wouldn't want to put them in the same library and part of the reason for that is the second thing you need to keep in mind is if you require complete isolation because remember files that's uploaded into the library is available to all stations to play so if you give a DJ access to one of the stations and they edit the file they're effectively editing it for all of the stations or if a DJ uploads a new file that file is available for all stations to play so if you're not careful with your play block rotation uh, unexpected file might play so if you need complete isolation having a dedicated library is a very good idea our biggest customers tend to group five or six stations of the same major genre into a single library thus they might have a hundred or more stations and about 20 shared libraries so you know before you create many many stations think a little bit about what grouping is going to fit with great power becomes great responsibility so while having a shared library between a lot of stations can make your life, life a lot easier because you only have to upload content once there is some things to watch out for for example if you upload a station ID that's specific to uh, one station it would not sound good if that accidentally plays on another station that shares the same library so I'm going to show you how to avoid that situation so generally speaking if content is okay to play across stations you will put it under a shared playlist so I'm just going to rename this one shared top 40 and this one I'm going to rename or create a new playlist called private top 40 and now when you go to your schedule and your play block you typically want to decide how you want to do this now um, actually as a better example I'm gonna just jump back here and I'm gonna create one here say my station IDs as well and let's create another one my commercials and here we can create another one called shared commercials I'm not adding content into this playlist right now because it's not important for what I'm trying to show you but typically speaking obviously all those would contain content so if I'm trying to create a play block that will only pick tracks that's allowed to play on the station I'm typically not going to use any filter like all media or music or let's take commercial because the problem with picking those or using those is that they will pick any commercial whether it's meant to play on the station or not the same with music or station ID as soon as you use the filter 
it can't know for which station it's meant. So the best is to avoid them all and use playlists exclusively. So if I search for top 40 here, I can say I only want to use my private top 40, followed by a shared commercial and then followed by my commercial. So here you can see that shared commercials would be network-wise commercials that was sold for all the stations on this library, while my commercials would be any commercials that's only allowed to run on my specific station. So by using this rotation, I have fine control and exact control on what plays on my station. The only other one thing to watch out for is failover logic. So if I have bad rotation rules set up here and the system is not able to pick a track because my separation rule is too strict, or if, um, for example, there's too few content within my playlist, the system might fall back to failover logic and failover logic picks any random track. So this might cause um, unexpected audio to play on the station that was not meant for the station. You can turn off this feature and this will ensure that your station never plays unexpected content. But the downside is if your play block is not configured correctly, then there's the chance of downtime. Because if the system is not able to pick a track, the station will go down for five minutes and then try again. So and provide it can find a track after five minutes your station will come up and, and start up again otherwise if it fails again your station will be down for another five minutes so it's very important that if you do uncheck this that you understand there might be downtime in your station if your play block is not configured correctly and therefore it's very important to go to your health tab and monitor if you have any problems at all with your play block selecting track to play. Like you can see, I have quite a few warnings here about that. So I definitely need to add more content to my playlist or adjust the separation rules. The final thing you need to know is if you give access to multiple people to help you manage your station, how that should be done. So let's go to settings, DJ permissions, and let's go ahead and add one. And I'll just go ahead and create this DJ. Now this DJ would receive an email to, that provides them access to our station or our stations for that matter. And here you can see now you can manage what permissions they have. And you can also say apply permissions or apply permissions for all stations on the service. So you have service level permissions and station level permissions. Service level permissions are permissions that would affect all the stations at the same time. So for example, if I edit the metadata of a track, that those changes will be visible to all stations. Or if I import a file or remove a file, that's impact impacting all stations sharing the same media library. Also, however, if you look at the station level permissions, if you have permissions to add or remove items from the queue, change the rotation rules, start, stop the station, skip a track, those are the sort of actions that only affect the current station. So when you give out permissions to people, be aware how they can influence even stations they don't really have access to. So this dj one at spatial.com may only have access to this one station in our library, but some of their actions may actually affect all stations. In summary, Sam Broadcaster Cloud makes it really easy to manage multiple stations. Whether we have a few stations or hundreds of stations, this cloud system makes it really easy to run and manage so many stations. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next video.